yo, yo, what's up, what's up, what's up? We back with another episode of the best podcast you never heard of, the Conceited Nobody. This is episode 152, Conspiracy Theory. And I'll get more into that title a little bit later. Let y'all know how that came into fruition. Before we get it kicked off, you already know who I am, it's Latours, a.k.a. Dark Skin Thanos, a.k.a. The Low Key Legend, a.k.a. The Blueprint. I'm here with the, um, the core. We had uh, substitute teachers and shit the last two weeks. Uh, so we, had a, we, had a, we had a substitute comedian. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Nate. Uh, to my right, we got the man with the master plan, the man to make it happen. Juby the Great. Yes, Renaissance sir. motherfucking Juby in the house. Juve. Yes, How sir. you feeling, champ? Yeah, I'm it's unexplainable. <laughs> he feels he feel like it's unexplainable. Chicago Jason, wherever it is. He down there international Jason. Now I can't just regulate him to Central Illinois or Northern Illinois. <laughs> Northern Illinois to Central Indiana. He is international Jason. I take international Jason. Let's go, buddy. That's like, but that's like uh, Fame now. International Joe. Who? Oh, you don't remember Fame? Walk, 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 walk. Listen, listen. If you, if you yeah, not here today, that's the 90s. Yeah. That's the oh. 90s. It's well, over. Uh, His reign is over. Yeah, he wasn't the first thing we knew. We've all known. Him. That's why he's International Jones now. He newer. switched his name for real. Yeah, that's what he do. He do? What do we do? So I think he's on with Jet Life, you know, or the currency. And, uh, oh, yeah. I'm so out of the loop. Yeah. I don't know what's yeah, going exactly. on in the world. Um, I it's thought, okay. You know, I thought Fiend knees and shit was hurting like mine. Yeah. Right about now, is he still nice? I mean, uh, he's, can you rap? Yeah, he's, he's still nice. Still, he's was still he nice to you? He was Fiend, you know. Womp, womp. He did his thing. You were a fuck with Fiend. Was you do a little bit younger than us? Was you on that no, that don't let me kick? The no let me song? Yeah. You probably done that high boy shit right after. No, yeah, yeah, right after, yeah, yeah right after. But uh, talking about with Silver Shocker, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mystical. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, about him and then Turk. I ain't listen to Turk too much, but about Mystical, Silver Shocker, and of course. Yeah, these are white boys. They switched over. These are the white boy to shout out. I'm cool, guys. I'm cool. I know Turk. Turk was a hot boy. <laughs> no, I'm just letting y'all about as far as it's going to get. That's it. Yeah, yeah, boy. Boy. He knew more than him. As far as it's going to get. He knew enough. Hell yeah. <laughs> he that, 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 that was that, impressive. That's, that's, that's we got to applause. That's what we well, get there. Delayed, <laughs> but never late. Uh, well, we not hearing him, but the audience is. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was impressive for a, a Shut young up, person. man. Don't be talking to Juvie like he's stupid. <laughs> Shit. Juvie, uh, Juvie, Juvie is well versed in music. We don't, give, we don't give Juvie no passes. Juvie is well versed in music. We ain't gonna treat hey, Juvie like, niggas, like niggas, niggas, don't, niggas don't know people no more. Juvie knows me. I was just wondering yes. how, what the age discrepancy was in that shit. Uh, but yeah, I was never... I, I was never a super big No Limit fan. You weren't supposed to be listening to that shit around that time, though. You feel me? So that's what it was. No, it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, Juvie. We, we wasn't supposed to be listening to it. I mean, he was five. We wasn't supposed to be listening to it. We was listening to it. Well, they weren't supposed to be saying it. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even supposed to be saying it. But 
I'm gonna tell you historically, if you go back to music, you check out any catalog, uh, they have one that aged maybe the worst out of any particular movie. Oh, yeah. No limit catalog <laughs> aged terribly. I'm talking about yeah, one day I was riding out there and work and shit. I was riding and working, I was listening. And I said, I thought it. I saw like I thought this was dope. Like I thought this shit was hard. That shit. Like, go, go listen to it. Still crazy, smoking or missing. I didn't mean any to go back and listen to that shit. Man, that shit was just dope for and what it talk, was. We talked about yeah. that shit a while ago. Yeah, rap characters. What about? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you this. When you was in uh, in that age, that particular era, did you think that Silk the Shocker was hard? Hell yeah. No. Oh, I did. You didn't know. No, he no. was my favorite one for some reason. Man. For I some just reason. knew. I was like, I don't understand. I was like yelling. I didn't understand. <laughs> I don't believe Jason. And I'm not calling Jason a lie. I'm just saying I don't believe him. No, nigga, you didn't ever, I, like, you understood as a child what the, what the Listen, deal was. He was very fucking easy to understand. The only made person in that particular era. No, not who that. Was, who was just as easy to understand was maybe Barney. It wasn't able to, it wasn't about able to understand. It was just like, I don't understand why people like this. Oh. oh why do I, people I, like hold on, this? Hold on, now. I, I wish I was on that goddamn high horse with you at that time. So I no, could look, I, no, hold on, hold on. So I could look at the idiots just like you did. I was one of the ones up there and shit talking about, make them say, uh. No, you can make them say, uh, nigga. But I was like, Silk and Shaka, you the worst of the worst. How did you get the deal? Oh, you clearly got nepotized into this Amen. motherfucker. <laughs> That nigga was really, <laughs> that nigga was really like. Run up, run up, run up. That nigga better watch the mouth. Like, I just said that nigga was rapping, man. Man, go to his verse. I can understand wow. that song, but the shit he's saying. I'll be oh. Sometimes in the all black. It was all straight. Her old jeans, man. Got all them keys and bring them some shit. Oh, shit. That shit make my fucking head. <laughs> Man, hey, listen to one of his albums, nigga, where ain't nobody else on the song. Yeah. Don't ever do that to yourself. I went to the, that had a star on it. Listen, that was, you know, yeah, had a star on it, so that was like, yeah. no one could still listen to it. He had to have other like, characters. Go, I gotta go to one of the first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the recipe for a uh, No Limit album. You had to have a song for the homies. You had to have some, uh, the, remember that intro with the No Limit shit, with the mm -hmm. tank. They were all the fuck, man. I, I'm gonna not ever listen to those again because I don't remember them how I remember them in yeah. the 90s. Nigga, they was hard than a bitch. The intro was hard. I'm the colonel of the tank. You talking about big thing, nigga? We talking about big bank. <laughs> nigga, incredible bars. Incredible fucking Louisiana bars, nigga. I said the way these niggas rap, I can picture a hurricane coming soon. They created it. Katrina, Katrina. It was, a, uh, it was certainly a flood, though. When y'all when y'all listen to music. What do y'all listen for? To, for y'all to determine or dictate to yourselves that this shit's hard. What do y'all listen to? I, this is a two-part question, too. Anybody can answer anything. Well, uh, man, for me, um, man, I think I think I like I think I like flows and melodies. I think I like flows and melodies, and then the words right after that. I mean, I do listen to what a lot of people try to be lyrical. You know what I mean? They try to. They can't really put, but some people can like, just like, I don't know, like flows and melodies and people can like, and then like, say clever things and stuff like that too, but I don't really love so much like the, the flows and melodies. Yeah, that's and pretty And that going to the words for me. That's the, that's, I think that's the main, the first thing that I probably hear. Yeah, definitely yeah. is going to be the, 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 the beat and the, the flow. And then I'm like, all right, I'm trying to listen to the song as a whole before I start Let's do it again and start dissecting that shit. Like, how lyrical was it? Like, yeah, no, nah, nigga. I'm like, do I like this? I'll like, at least go check out one whole body of project, too. You feel me? Yeah, I'll give him a solid like, chance. Like, like if I heard one song from the artist, I'm like, oh, I gotta go listen to one whole project. But you know a song. Just to get, but for just a song. One yeah, song. talking about a song. Just a song. Yeah, that's be off the top. I'm gonna listen to that first, and then I'm gonna be like, I mean, All right, just gonna be do okay. I like it? This is do I like it? If he gonna be fire, it ain't gonna be fire, and it's gonna be depending on how the, how he come on that motherfucker. 
Do I like this shit? Cause you might like some shit that ain't hard. Like what? Uh, you know, like I guess like some classic uh, uh, R and B or some shit like that. She said hard. Like, what do you I mean, mean hardcore or like hard as in? That's what I'm trying to get from you. I was, uh, which I meant to ask. Well, what no, do you I mean like hard? Like, you just mean like it's just good. Like, what do you like? It's good. Like, what you like? What do you? Oh like? yeah, that's probably yeah. it. That's it then. And I was listening I, that first. And I am the person who listens to lyrics. I don't even. I think it do have to be something catchy. Like something yeah. to catch my attention. Yeah. The beat, but the beat's never dominant for me. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I done heard people just be shitty on dope ass beats. Hell yeah. And I heard people yeah. yeah. spit, yeah. spit yeah. on some shit. Mm-hmm. We all right, because we all dabble a bit. What What do y'all like? What do y'all, y'all think when y'all right? I'll go first on this one. First off, when I write, I'm always in creative mode. Like I'm trying to figure out how can I say some dope shit, and then and sometimes man. It just flow, like I, I shout out to Brian, my nephew. He said that when he listened to something that I write, he said that it's funny that it got to be explained. And I'm gonna give a case in point. A little song I wrote. Um, it says, "Damn, I really did a good." Uh, like, I woke up. I hopped on WebMD to see what I was feeling. I was feeling, I was feeling my destiny. I was feeling nauseous from being overly cautious. I was sweating with the hiccups. I'm the shit cuz. And I set the tone with like, I'm sick. You know what I'm saying? I had to hop on WebMD. I thought you was gonna, I thought we might have to Shazam that shit. (laughs) And it's like, I'm the shit cuz every time I sit up, I spit up some of this mucus. I be puking, losing my mind, going stupid. Lyrical lupus, or is it the SARS bars, scars? By far the realest nigga I R I am I is I be doing shit for a hobby. Now I'm just stating that I just rap sometimes within the bar, definitely <laughs> for a hobby. Probably could be full blown epidemic. Nah, nigga, this the revelation plagues or Egypt revisited. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's continuously growing, like the sickness is growing and shit, but. And like when I write, I'm I'm trying to be complex like that and shit. Cause when I write, I write for myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm old, so I'm doing it for fun. So I'm not writing like oh, MCA hears this and they'll sign me. Yeah, and then it's like does it still work like that? Uh, so I've seen idiot sign deals. Oh, I've seen. So when y'all write, what are, what's on y'all mind? And then I always try to. When you just write and you don't have a structure to a song, you know, it's kind of you just go all over the place. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's that's just I'll be trying to be clever and shit and I try to be realistic. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I like to talk about the real shit going on in my life, like my jets. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wanna talk about my jet and shit, you know what I'm saying? I drive to work sometimes. <laughs> big body, you know, you know what they got a big body jet. Right, right. <laughs> but what what be on your shit? Jason sent me that hard ass song, man. It was, it was cool. Oh, and I got some more I, accolades to give out. Fuck that. I, I don't think care the, if somebody can't hear this. Guy. I think yeah. the, that shit. You said what? I, I really I don't know. It'd be like what the song sound like. Cause when I make the, you kind of feel be like what does this feel? Beat. Yeah, it'd be like what does this feel like? This should be like yeah. what type of song do this sound like? It is, and then you kind of it kind of come from there. Well, if it, so sometimes the damn hook just jump out. At you because it just seemed like that's what it should be. I don't know, it just sounds for me that's what had happened. It would be like, this is what it should be. But if I'm making a beat, then I'll be like, oh, I know exactly what the fuck this is gonna be when it's done. Yeah. Like, I'm like, at this age, like, I might have to give it away to somebody else, but I know what this supposed to be. Yeah. And I see that's why. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. I might have, like, I'm a fan secretly of a lot of uh, producers, and I watch a lot of D making tapes and shit, like Just Blaze and Pharrell. And like they fuck, that's how they do that shit. Kind of more or less, they just put some shit on and then it evolve into some other shit. And they be, and then they start mumbling some shit that sound retarded as hell. And then it eventually becomes some genius shit. And then they sell the song and the beat. They don't necessarily. Jason, we was asking you about your process. Fuck for real, process. But no, that's what you're man. I got use it, motherfucker, man. Uh-huh. I started but, Google them niggas. But no, nah, that shit just like that's that's where that's where I be on my mind mm. when I be hearing music, and then that's what end up. Ha- you know what I mean? Like I think about that type of shit. You look like nigga Volcano Jones. Yeah, <laughs> that shit. I'm sorry that I have an artistic process, you motherfucking niggers. 
Shout out to shout out to Jason. His fucking uh, so, soliloquy, <laughs> that fucking epilogue <laughs> to nothing. Uh, <laughs> shout out to. I forgot this wasn't an interview about me. Man, hey, it can't be. <laughs> Commandeer. This wasn't about me. You're not, I'm about to show everybody on in the 80s that would commandeer your vehicle on movies. <laughs> well, this commandeer vehicles. They steal them shits. Hey. Well, uh, what about you, Juvie? First off, before I say this, Juvie used to put out some shit called Steel Right. He uh, put this shit out. When was that? Last. Uh, yeah, last Thursday. Last Thursday. Last Thursday. That motherfucker mm-hmm. hard. The local right on, the I'm being yeah. honest. Only one song I don't like, and it's because I don't like the beat. And but it, like, and it's just it's the beat. It's not yeah. the shit you say I don't like the beat. It's that uh, what you be talking about the real estate shit. The whole R O I, yeah, R O I. That's like that. This shit, this shit's hard. Them motherfucker. I, I told you, man. I hear you. I said this shit hard. I ain't just saying this and shit just because we cool. Shit, I like that motherfucker. That's nice. What's the process you take when you write? Man, so really, like I get super creative when I write because it's like. Man, first I go off of my moods or whatever mood I'm in with that the moment that I feel like I want to record. So I'm like, okay, now that I didn't record so many songs, it's kind of like I kind of get a feel of what beat I'm probably going to want. You know what I mean? What kind of beat I'm going to want. So I go off the mood and I'm like, okay, I'm probably going to wait for this type of beat. I'm going to do this or I might do a different type of beat and just put that same mood over it. So I go off of that, start listening to the beat. And then, um, man, like, I, I really, I'm really, so like, I'm really still trying to get, trying to get better at being, like, creatively, like, writing creative. I'm trying to get better at really structuring songs and being creative, like, you know, writing creative. Cause I feel like I just be kind of saying anything sometimes, you know, but, but it's not like I'm saying anything, but it's a lot of stuff that's, it might be one song that I'm talking about, and it's not really a certain subject. Some songs may come down to subjects. It might be like that. You feel me? But some songs I just be feeling like, because I just really, like, I lay the first couple bars, and then I just keep going. I, can, I just keep going and try not to, like, critique it too much. So I be going, like, you know what I mean? Keep doing what I'm doing. I just be trying to make it better. Mm-hmm. So that's where I start in, and I just keep going. Then if I hear... If I hear some catchy that I said, I'm like, I like that shit. That's yeah. going to be good. I'm going to say that shit again. I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to make it repetitive. Or I'm going to do something like that. It's like try to bridge it or whatever the case may be. And I just keep writing. And I or I keep, you know, doing a verse. I get stuck with it. Okay, I'm going to do the shit right here. You know then. So, yeah, that's how that go. And before we move on for our own personal interviews or our writing styles. <laughs> I ask y'all, do y'all ever, like, before y'all about to write something, if y'all, like, plan on doing it? Do y'all try to refrain from listening to too many people rap? Yeah, Cause yeah. then it start fucking with the way you do. Yeah, it ever happened to you? I got to uh, listen to music for like at least a week. I, nah, I don't. I don't think I intentionally do it. Yeah. If I do, I don't be like, I ain't listening to nothing because I'm in writing mode. Uh-huh. I just, yeah. it just, I, do I don't listen to like, especially like. But I know what you mean, but, like, cause I have been. I think I have been listening to a lot of music lately, and then yeah, I just I can hear that well, like, when you wrote with him at first. I said this nigga really been on that motherfucking uh, the Megan. He said <laughs> so he's really been listening to Megan this whole week. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was listening to some bullshit too. I think. Hey. Too, so. And then he said, "Hey, after every <laughs> bar, hey, <laughs> we got here with them cars, hey, hey, we got here up on the stars, hey." That's crazy, cause that's how I felt about uh. That's how I felt about Ice on that on that album. But when I when I listened to it, it's I flipped it like I said some shit to get motherfuckers to listen to it. And like you get into the verse and it's like you be really listening. And it's like what I say. Damn, I just been my prayer for like yeah, see here we know yeah. When then you come and buy here, my dog just went back to like nine years. You can write that off the catalog. But that was my. Hey, don't feel like when y'all trying to get a moment to listen to shit and they keep talking. Listen to this part I'm spitting. I'm, I'm really spitting right here on this part. This, but this part gonna get him. Are you going you rewind that shit? Hey, on, you gotta shut the fuck up. Listen to this part real. You hear what I said? You hear what I said about the pistol in the car seat? And I dropped my uh, girl off and the, the baby pacifier was, I was some cool shit, shit man. I, I involved the whole family. You know how you ain't it. You don't feel that? I hope you get fired today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it be disrespectful, do That hey. shit's disrespectful, man. It's like telling a cool joke, as you can relate. Or you ever said some funny <laughs> shit and a motherfucker just said, hmm. Like or, that's a reaction. <laughs> or they be like, you know what's really funny? 
or like you know, you know it's a good ass song. Oh, that shit crazy. You know it's a good ass song. <laughs> you know, I like, start looking at they fuck me like you know it's a good ass song. No, I'm like, nigga, what? You rap, I'm going to show you some other really rap. Let me show you this shit right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, more trash. More than one. Blue fuck. Nah. Man, them niggas want to dance with that shit. Speaking of rappers, controversial rappers, one of the most uh, expeditiously uh, talking rappers who are front and center in every issue, whether it be social, whether it be social media, whether it be anything, he's a pseudo black leader. And I don't want to kick him all down, but everybody get your boots ready. Get him out. Anyone heard about the T.R. shit? I thought I had the article readily handed. Hand, hand, hand. They said yeah. he was uh, getting all them chicks to mess with him and some of them chicks and he's allegations. What, egregious they allegations. Really, they really started uh, This shit hit the BBC, man. man. This shit ain't just on MTO. You wanna read that shit? You, you, you can get it. They said, uh, so this was after everything, but it's gonna go on to explain it. Say rapper T.I. and his wife Tiny have denied social media allegations by the blase in them last week. The drama started when Glam University, a webinar ED business, CEO Sabrina Peterson claimed on Instagram that T.I. put a gun to her head at a 2009 birthday party. In a post on Tuesday, hey, Peterson wrote, in part, you put a gun to my head in front of children and I never called the police on you. But for years, you have painted me as the villain. <laughs> Peterson said an argument erupted between her and T.I. at a 2009 party for Harrison's daughter. Peterson said T.I. arrived at the party after she got in an altercation with the assistant. She said he then put the gun to her head. Bitch, I'll kill you. Sabrina alleged to the I'll hear that. So T.I. told her. She said the situation was eventually defused, after which she distanced herself from the family. Why did she say she got the gun put to her head? I never saw uh, that. She it said uh, she got into an altercation with the assistant at the party. Okay. I'm trying to hear about the hoes. I ain't trying to hear about this, this bullet no, dodge. I'm trying to hear about that. That's what fuck. led to the hoe. She oh, started, okay. she brought it out and that. Jumped in. Yeah, she brought it out that other chicks was uh, um, having situations and other run ins with, you feel. know, was fucking, uh, they were trying to force him, force them to do sexual things. Oh, hold Not on. like at gunpoint, but it was like. So, so look, so she uh, said. She oh, exposed that. Hold on, hold on, real quick, real quick. Real quick. This this is the Saturday patties we're gonna ever get on this show. This is where it came up. Talk your shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Dish. Yeah, the only girl on Dish. You see how it is on their phone? Like, hey, you watch the video. I feel icky, nigga. We gone. Nigga, I need to hear this shit. I ain't been paying attention like hey, I should. Hey man, she said after she shared the post, right? Yeah. She said the floodgate is the floodgate is open. She said uh, she began to get direct messages from women with other allegations against T.I. and his wife. The acknowledged message with Peterson has been reposting on Instagram. And there's a couple. Yeah, that shit crazy as hell. The alleged, you know, taking drugs, sexual abuse, and all that bullshit. So she posted the other, she she posted text, allegedly text of, uh, from other women stating that. Yeah, so they after, did after those she things. came out and did She that, shared them. Huh? She shared them. After she came, yeah, yeah, she shared the, like, the messages and shit like that, like in like threads. So she shared a business. I'm going to get my tea. Shekana Joe clears the air about allegations she made against Sabrina Peterson. She spoke out of hurt. So yesterday, Shekana Joe came out, came to her friend Tamika Tiny Hair's defense on Instagram Live and made several allegations about Sabrina Peterson, the CEO of blah, blah, blah. Because this is what it is about. This bitch wanted shit to blow up. Including that she engaged in sexual activity with T.I. and Tanya and tell recruit women engaged in access with. Hold up. Hold up. I'm reading it right. Today, she kind of cleared the air and said that the accusations weren't true. Once again, she hopped on Instagram Live and shared that she made the allegation out of her and claimed she heard the information she repeated from a, free, from a friend named Willie. Willie allegedly so used to tell me stuff about lied. Sabrina. So, yesterday... What I said on live, I was speaking out of hurt. This has nothing to do with none of the rest of the women. I was really aiming to get back get back at her because I feel like she's psychotic and she is psychotic herself. She kind of started to get uh, emotional and cried as she spoke. She continues, 
what y'all ain't gonna do is pull me into some shit that I ain't got nothing to do with. Um, the accountability of black women. I don't know Sabrina and Tiny relationship because some because they weren't friends when I came around. I cannot say that Sabrina recruited any nobody for them because I don't know her. Willie said that she this bitch don't imagine her nigga ain't Willie and Willie. This is the Willie Lump Lump we've heard about since we was little. I'm sure that's Willie Lump Lump or Willie Lynch. If you recall yesterday, she kind of Leslie alleged that Sabrina was doing all this for clout. I'm trying to figure out why she to hasn't told y'all that she was one, the woman who used to go and recruit the hoes they used to fuck. Why she didn't tell y'all she was getting fucked? Ask her what was going on when she was in the threesomes and the foursomes. What happened with her? What about when she was recruiting the hoes? That's enough of that. But uh, this is embarrassing <laughs> for everybody involved, especially T.I. Uh, he's supposed to be a man in this situation. You, if you're going to be in dogs or these things, you're supposed to protect all parties involved. You're supposed to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you get your, what do you call it? No, it's called NDA. Is that what it's called? NDA. Your NDA and shit. Sorry. Whatever it is, you're in a position of uh, fame and notoriety. So you should be. I can't be this. And I kind of believe that they did use it the, the uh, other girl, Sabrina, because she kind of looks like a better version of Tiny, as there is no worse version of Tiny. But this is this, it's embarrassing because you got older children who, who get on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, your children on here, like, looking at you and shit, like, mm. Y'all be paying and raping bitches, huh? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he about to try to discipline your children after this shit. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, hey, you need to do your homework. You want to grow and be some. How come I can't just find somebody to pay me the fuck like you? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you... Yeah, that shit is crazy. It's sick, man. It's, it's sad. It's sad. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and then it's always a nigga who always got something to say about somebody else's shit. You know what I'm saying? T.I. Yeah. always out uh, here trying to act like he... The motherfucker, uh, Fred Hampton, <laughs> the latter day Fred Hampton or whatever. Yeah, uh, well, he is though. And, and, what you say? I said, well, he is though. Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, hey, man, get out. It, it's funny, man. It's crazy what people do for fame. Did you say she was launching something? The girl who had the uh, originally made the accusations. Was the egregious. Well, she was launching her company. She's following up. She asked for a lie detector, whatever. Uh, well, she actually said she, and this is what she made a post that said, stop victim shaming. And she said she went to the lie detector test, whatever. Uh, I hate how every, like, bitch, if this had, listen, I'm going to tell you this right here, right now. Anything that happened in 2009 that I report to anybody, I'm not a victim of it. I don't give a fuck what I social media this, this particular world is bringing up. Oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm sure you high five this bitch since then. I'm sure we had a great time and had some smiles after this. Like, how, man. what, I, did you I cut them off? It's like the Bill Cosby shit. Like, why it's exactly like shit? this on the low ass level. I got a problem with them saying, like, on the headline for one of these articles, it says T.I. and Tiny deny allegations of drugging and sexual coercion. And I'm like, sexual coercion is a crime, nigga. That's what niggas do to bitches every day. Come on, let me just put the head in. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. Oh. She, and then she's out here. She had a post that said, currently interviewing all victims. We should we should hoax her. We should just hoax. We can say, Come I don't on, know which one of y'all are volunteer. Maybe not y'all. Maybe talk to Sal Corey into it. One of y'all say, T.I. raped y'all. It'd be, it'd be very. You did, didn't you, girl? <laughs> yeah, Corey, what happened? I was just walking in, you know. <laughs> you know you got raped, right, girl. <laughs> Is this but how these conversations? She out here, man. She posted, <laughs> she posted pictures in black and white. Have you ever seen me stand for something? And it's not facts. I'm so passionate about the pain I experienced for years. That if you know me, then you know it's completely up and stuck. It's like she's trying to turn into a martyr. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah, and it's yeah. what I hate about social media, where everybody can just be anybody regardless of who's involved in like who's being affected um she's it's not i'm gonna, I'm gonna take the same route as ti's uh girl's best friend did this don't have nothing to do with me so i'm gonna fall back <laughs> like y'all handle y'all business and y'all keep massaging them out of this and that's they children i don't think like i know some shit. but uh damn fuck 
But um, what I feel like I'm leaving something out. But that that's the end of the Ti shit. Yeah. What else we got? What else we got on tap? Oh man, 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 man! Rest in peace, to Screech. Oh, Dustin yeah. Diamond. Two twenty one. Twenty twenty one is out of control. Hey, already. People thought that in two thousand and uh, twenty one, the people gonna stop dying. Remember how they? Oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was supposed to end. Yeah, I thought it was over, nigga. They came and got they screech. They came and got screech. They said. Uh, they said that he. I didn't read it. So he got cancer and he died like not even. Not even. Yeah, I say not even a week later. So he just got diagnosed with it. Yeah. Yeah. For real. I need to see some recent pictures. It says Dustin Diamond played the role of Screech on the popular 1990s high school comedy Saved by the Bell died Monday after a recent cancer diagnosis, according to Diamond's manager, Roger Paul. He was 44. He was diagnosed with this brutal. Wait a fucking minute. Wait, <laughs> nigga. Listen to these goddamn adjectives to describe this now. He was diagnosed with this brutal, relentless form of malignant cancer only three weeks Jesus ago, Christ. Paul said in a statement. Paul got something to do with this. Paul said in a statement, and he provided the CNN. In that time, it managed to spread rapidly through this injection. And through his system, which is going to go into my conspiracy shit later. Which rapidly spread throughout his system. The only mercy... Hold on, man. This article too much for me. The only mercy it exhibited was its sharp and, sharp and swift execution. Dustin did not suffer. He did not have a lot of birds and pain for that we are grateful for his manager. I guarantee you, man, his manager got that money. I, I guarantee you shifted that money to a different bank account. This is some elaborate ass fucking heinous shit. Had I not saw Paul Roger Paul's name, I'd have thought Dr. Evil wrote this shit. That shit crazy. This is some Dr. Evil level fucking uh lunacy. But yeah, Diamond first uh, shared news of his cancer diagnosis last month. I'm sure it involved him in a picture on Instagram with his fist up saying, I'm going to fight the hashtag fuck cancer. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. At this time, his manager said his client health was serious and that Diamond was undergoing further testing at a Florida hospital when he decided to take medicine with all hand and uh, kill Diamond. What? Okay, I had that part. Um, <laughs> he underwent his first round of chemotherapy uh, a little bit later. But it's all, it's terrible. Um, for we, anybody who grew up in the era saying about the bill, I think that he was the most standout character uh, mm -hmm. for just personality reasons. We all knew Kelly. I mean, uh, Lisa Turtle had no business in Bayside being the only jig nigga. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was, he got a, he got one of the characters that's going to go down in the uh, lore of TV, television mm -hmm. lore. Um, would you say that's a legendary character? Yeah, for yeah. sure. They couldn't. I agree. They, they they retooled the whole show around, around him. Yeah. Hey, you be on your shit. You be on your shit. You be on your shit. It's almost like some Urkel shit. <laughs> for real, for real. It's damn near. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Urkel was Urkel. Shit. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. The show wasn't shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I also didn't even know that about Screech. I didn't even yeah. see who it is. And they did the same shit with the Farmers. Remember our happy days? Man. So what else uh, instances in history where this may have taken place that you can think of? Well, they hijacked or whatever. Where the person was supposed to be a big character or was supposed to only be there for an episode and then she yeah. like, the focal point or one of the focal point. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, um, I think that happened on In the House. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know why anybody on the dope thing. They, they cut out the family and then made it about mm -hmm. LL and like Tony, I mean, uh, Kim Williams and, uh, Alfonso Ribeiro. They was on there? Yeah, that was the case. Let's talk about an instance where it failed and caused the show to oh, okay. I can't, verbally jump the shark. I can't think of offhand. Uh, I got one. What? Raven Simone and the Cosmics. Okay. They try, would you agree with that? They tried to make go to a cutesy little girl type shit. It happened at the end of Family Matters too, though. Yeah. With, with Rich, Rich, yeah. Richie. Three J and Richie. Like, it was a whole yeah. random kid. It's like y'all run out of shit to write about. Yeah, like, was a random kid. Yeah, yeah. like, let's adopt one and make a whole storyline, a whole another season. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Screech, Screech Powers. What do you say, The Screech Moors. A uh, fantastic character, our actor, definitely gonna go down and legendary. Um, but I do gotta bring out his egregious side. It's dark. <laughs> it's dark side. It's like a whisper about yeah. his porn career. Uh, Are you familiar? 
the, 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 the probably his most notable movie. I had to Google this one. <laughs> he, he, he did some shit in the porn order I had never heard of. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you familiar with this? What did he do? Yeah, the ladies and gentlemen, grab your phones, because I don't want to explain what this is, but Google Dirty Sanchez. Oh, man. You know, how the fuck you niggas know this shit? Y'all didn't know about him. Y'all supposed to know about this if y'all found out about him. Who did? Somebody said that shit, not Googled it one time. 40 year old version. They said that on there? Yeah. Well, fuck you for paying attention better than me. <laughs> it was the it was the old Indian. Oh, they're talking about cocking balls. I think when they came out, I they had Google. So I didn't pay that shit much attention. I was like, what the fuck, this nigga? But that was his highlight <laughs> career after the screech. Damn, that's so crazy. People from Saved by the Bell didn't have too much success in their uh, careers following that show. Mario Lopez, he became like the all time best host outside of Ryan Seacrest. Uh, Zach Morris, he, Mark Koff. Paul Gosser, he just disappeared. Tiffany, no, he bad. He do a lot of shows, but mm-hmm. nobody, none of that significance. You know, mm-hmm. that's a high bar. Dude. What show we do? Uh, he was on something that blew. So, oh, see, that's what I'm talking about, man. We got to dig in the crazy for it. It's a little bit of Berkeley. Like, I don't know what I'm saying because it wasn't notable. It was back to my original mm-hmm. point. Like you, like he disappeared. He did work. Yeah, he, he I think he, he got a job. He got on shit that got canceled. A lot of that type of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then the old girl did strip tease. I've never seen that, y'all. They said that's one of the worst movies ever. Showgirl. Showgirl. Come on, man. Showgirl. Yeah, yeah. God damn it, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Jesse Spano was a showgirl. Um, they said they, it got a Razzie. Elizabeth Berkeley got it. She got the Razzie. Yeah. For, and the movie also got a Razzie, didn't it? I don't know if they got but a Razzie. But on a, yeah, it did. On other <laughs> uh, we lost a, a, another lovely young lady. Young beautiful queen. Shout out the queen. Sisley. Sis Sisley Tyson. Everybody's grandmother. She ain't my grandmother. In the movie. Oh, uh, okay. Sisley Tyson, she first off, man, let's applaud her career. She had a fantastic career that, ex- that expanded over a few decades. Uh she was born in Harlem, New York. I just figured her out. You couldn't have told me before. This particular fucking moment that she wasn't born in some fucking barn in Alabama. I don't I don't know if I believe she's born in Harlem. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. I don't think the river south in it, huh? I say all be, all black people come from the south. I know. That's how come I don't believe she's born in Harlem. But she was in uh notable movies. I remember we watched uh Sounder when I was in school. The autobiography this is Jane Pippen. I didn't know who the fuck Jane Pippen was then or now. You you all know who she is. Jane Pippen. Jane Pippen. I ain't watched that shit. I'm sure that she, <laughs> I'm sure that she picked up some cotton along the way to her notoriety. Um, picked up some cotton. I feel fucked up. I don't know who will. She definitely was. Jane Pippen. She was a. Uh, we're not talking about her. We're talking about the beautiful Sissy Tyson. What's your favorite uh, moment of Sissy Tyson's career, Jason? Moment. I really picked up the spot. <laughs> moment. I really picked up the spot. I don't, know. Shit. I, I don't know about moment, but uh, two of my two of the movies. I know I like one of my favorite. Not I, can, I don't know how to put this, man. If a nigga could have a favorite nigga ass like slave niggas got treated like shit movie, man was probably the help, mm. and she was in that movie, and uh, yeah. That's that was one of my favorite movies that she was in. I never seen that movie and I did I didn't see the Alex Cross movie because I was disappointed with uh Tyler Perry being cast as Alex Cross. If anybody read the Jane Patterson novels, you know that Tyler Perry did not fit the role. But her playing Nana in the I wish I'd at least seen that because she was a very big part of the novels. And I and I could picture her in that role, but um Shout out to her, man. She had her last film actually called Fall and Fall from Grace came out in 2020. Um, she got a, a laundry list full of like television and movies that she was a part of, even to her older age. Do anybody know how she passed? I mean, if it's anything where they were like, or is it just that it was, she was just like, fuck it? Yeah, I feel like she, because she was 96. It just said, the actor pronounced dead. Uh, yeah, they haven't got additional details. She, um, she, um, she was 
the godmother and Lenny Kravitz, um, Denzel's daughter, Katia and Tyler Perry's son, um, Amy. But Joe, they ain't my fuck that. Y'all know Tyler Perry had the son? <laughs> did he? No. Like, did he? No, I, wonder, I, did I wonder if he got an airport door when he had him. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Perry got some child bearing hips, don't he? Hey, you can see that nigga out there. <laughs> yeah. That's how I pray. I guarantee you that nigga gave birth to that boy. Oh, uh, shit. But, uh, <laughs> Sissy, she, I don't even think she had any children, did she? That's some weird shit. Man, what? She, I mean, you start getting fucked with a kid. She got one child. child. One child. She do? Yeah. What? Are they out here? They probably about 200, huh? But it don't say. Mm. Yeah. Don't but shout out to Sissy, uh, all jokes aside. A phenomenal talent. She spanned across shit down there uh, ten decades. Well, not <laughs> acting. You know, she on at least both. I am out of the eulogy already. Shout out to Sissy. Um, at least four. Damn. Seven, eight, eight, today is nine. February the second. Anybody know what that means? That on tomorrow is February the third. No, this is the shit. We it's Groundhog Day. Nah, it's only like a few days left of Black History Month, nigga. That's what that means. <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. When was Groundhog Day? Today. Today. Is, is it for real? Yeah, yeah. I thought that's what you talked about. I'm so I fucking glad I didn't know that shit. I'm so glad I didn't know that shit. Man, listen. Groundhog with a platform with him. He's like a red little cover on it. Yeah. And they said he put a platform. He said shut up. I'm going to tell you, man, listen. I'm going to tell you, man. That's the dumbest shit ever. I'm gonna tell you, this is one of the things that you know white people are goofy. This is one of the things that you know white people is goofy. And the only thing worse than a goofy white person is a black person trying to do goofy white people shit. That shit right there. Um, shout out to Groundhog. Uh, nigga, more important to me. You mean a lot more than these motherfuckers that I do. Um, and, 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 and real quick, Groundhog Day is one of the best movies ever. For sure. For sure. I ain't arguing. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you agree with me. Yeah. Fuck with it. Yes, I'm not gonna watch it. Yeah, that shit. I wonder if it's funny as Bill Murray. I wonder if it's good for that. You seen you probably seen a lot of different versions of it though. I don't know. Cause the same shit keep happening over and over. Yeah. Long story short. Check it out. I damn it, I don't remember what the fuck happened at the end of the ground. He fucking gets at the girl. <laughs> as in every movie in the eighties. That's it. But today is the um so-called Black History Month, the uh, what the second day of it. yeah I'm I'm the, second day. the second day. We well, you know Black people late. Like. Have, have have people been treating y'all extra nice like this, or is this like Juneteenth the same? Or is Juneteenth killing this? Boy, nah, Juneteenth killing this because white people was in on it. They were like, oh my god, we didn't know. We didn't know. Just like those slaves didn't know. <laughs> What did black history mean to y'all? That shit in motherfuckers' head. Black history is uh, is us, first of all. Shit. Because we able to fucking do a podcast without getting, uh, you know, killed right now. But uh, definitely, uh, me for, to me, is uh, I think the real black history was like when it happened, shit that happened to black people when it based off of reactionary shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it was revolution, revolt, physical, like, oh, we just can't take this shit no more, nigga. We not going for this shit. And that shit was over with. To me, it's like a month they go, this is we gonna get these niggas one month, we gonna talk about these niggas. <laughs> or we gonna make these, we gonna let these niggas talk about they self and the things that they feel like they accountable in. And we let them have that shit. We know that. <laughs> That's y'all reparation. I, I don't know. And I guess I wasn't uh, as precise in the question as I could. Like, well, what's black mean? I say what? I said, but what's black mean? Sorry. Right. <laughs> so just like personally, like what? Um, I think I think this is one of the hear nigga moments in America, where niggas be feeling like hey, niggas be like Talk man, about the yeah, oh. where niggas be like, hey man, you know what I'm saying? We oh, we really ain't got no water. Hypothetically, in Flint, we ain't got no water, man. We having a tough time with these textbooks. They ain't shit, and they say, "Here, nigga, you're going more." 
Oh, and then you like, what? We got a fucking mom. And then you be sitting there with no fucking water, no good taste, but you talking about George Washington Carver baby peanut butter. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. peanut. The month don't mean shit to me if that's what we talking about. I mean, shit. that's what we're talking about. It's like, history wrong. Oh, just a month to say? Yeah. No, it don't mean shit. It's just like, remember us, Nick. I mean, it's like, hey, white people, guess what? We did some shit that y'all still not gonna give, uh, that y'all still gonna take credit for. Yeah, I, mean, I, like, I, like, <laughs> I like when we be forgetting until somebody say something. Yeah. Dude, dude, strike yards. I have black people clamor for white people acceptance because, in my opinion, when they talk about in any instance that this is the first black person to blah, 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 or the first black. It's always the first nigga to do some shit that a white person did. Who found, who recorded this shit, right? It's probably a nigga like, no, he did that shit first. I seen you. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm just saying, like, I, I just don't get, like, what, what are we glorifying? Like, how? And it, it's it, like, it's it called stagnation to me. Like, it's nothing, like, tangible that comes out of certain things like this. People say things like, um, like I see somebody put post a picture of a black Barbie doll, and the hashtag say representation matters. Well, I'm like, I'm like, have you been this fucking, like, are you this sad to that you really looking for a black Barbie doll? Like, is that what's gonna make your life better? Or if they make James Bond a black man, maybe she was a collector. You know, there was some fucking goofy on social media and shit trying to feel like she was doing some deep <laughs> shit. That bitch had a black fist up in the air and shit with a goddamn beret tilted to the side. But that's what I'm saying. Like, everything is like, it's it's all, it's all an unplugged controller. Yeah. The plight of black people in America is the, black people are often handed the controller that has no batteries or it's not plugged in. Big You're not dictating ass. shit. They will give you <laughs> the most fucking superficial things in this country and I put that on par with a vote. Uh um it's like another thing they use to make you fall in line. Oh the control line, line. like uh say say like they give you all these traditions, right? Mm -hmm. You got Easter, Christmas, all that little stuff that motherfuckers celebrate and they don't even know why they celebrate. They celebrate because it just been tradition here and they grew up doing that in the United States. Blase blase Okay, let's throw this black month in. Let's throw this black month on February. You know what I mean? And kind of put that in there as a tradition as well. And I bet you they're going to follow that type shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, yeah, like you said, it's just like, like you said, I'm going to give your ass a battery that ain't got no controller and they ain't got no batteries in them motherfuckers. Make you think feel like you're kind of doing some shit. Nigga. You feel me? So it's like, that's what that shit is. That, that's crazy. definitely the best. Uh, that's definitely the best way to put it because they like nigga. You they gave you control and they like nigga. You is winning. <laughs> you winning because you gave you a month. <laughs> I think it just it just influenced you to always look to them for a fucking solution or a way to <laughs> like you all we all it's he's weird because in the his in the history in the history of people, <laughs> anybody who been in any kind of captivity or under any under subjugation, I think we the only ones who go to the oppressor for help. Like everybody else to do whatever and shit within their own community. But it, it's a variety yeah, somebody, of reasons. Somebody and shit. say, or somebody say, there's a community down there in their state or in the city you go to where it's a, uh, uh, fucking where ethnicity it may be. There's a small community there of them. That's that's where they primarily are. Where as far as uh, blacks, we ain't really. Got no community where you got the ghettos and shit, but I feel like you pushed in that motherfucker. So, yeah, it was like we ain't really got no, no like, like uh, communities nowhere, nowhere like it's specific spot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This where y'all belong. And that's what I was gonna allude to. I mean, like, I could just say that without going into detail, but again, we're here for a particular reason. And the, and we are the only group of people that was brought here. Everybody else, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Irish, the Italians, the just what the fuck, the red coat Europeans, they all came here voluntarily uh, for the most part where we was cargo. So it's a lot of stuff that get lost in translation along the way and stuff that people miss. But people get so hyped up about this goofy ass month and I just don't understand it on, on I understand on a superficial level. You ain't never had shit. Uh it's this time and shit where you doing everybody else doing and shit, but 
as far as being productive, a productive entity for us, I don't get it. But on a more superficial level, what if niggas was like, you know what, we don't want February no more. How about we take fucking the whole month of July? Hell. How about we say fuck the 4th of July yeah, you know I mean? and we like, just say this yeah. is the new black history, but hold on, hold on, we're gonna barbecue. We're gonna be <laughs> we gonna be playing loud music and shit. Why don't niggas fucking rebel and take July? Cause we gave you niggas Joe. We last don't year. want no more motherfucking gays. We gave you Joe we last year. We don't want no gays, nigga. What if these niggas just yeah. hype? I might, might start some bullshit. Joe take well, this and Joe. Uh, <laughs> matter of fact, matter of fact, I tried to be nice, motherfucker. We want June, July, and August. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be cool. I'm trying to be cool. We want want immunity for everybody we're going to kill this summer. We don't want to see no statistics and shit about the deaths and shit. I don't want to see none of that shit. I want everything we do excused in July. We can kill without... You know what I'm saying? Impunity and shit. We can do what the fuck we want to. It's the best. We get the best of funerals and shit. And listen. Popeye chicken sounds at every at McDonald's. We want Popeye chicken sounds at the Taco Bell. We want them everywhere, everywhere, and we ain't taking no for an answer. And and this and this this this, 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 this the tool right here. This the tool right here. And if y'all say no, ain't no NBA season. And y'all ain't black. If y'all say no, we ain't, we ain't doing no making them dances for y'all. Y'all, can play. y'all ain't TikTok's <laughs> gonna crash. Your social media gonna crash. And I'm just being facetious, but people just don't understand the power that we wield as people, organized. But niggas so dancing, they just really take the hand out that you know what I'm saying we giving. And of course, they know. just and a black person came up with uh, Black History Month, allegedly. That's what they say okay. shit on Wikipedia when I look at it last year. Real quick, I want to ask y'all something. It's a little bit off subject. First off, shout out to my homeboy Wood, uh, Reggie Wilson, from the Pay Me No Mind podcast. And, um, Pay Me No Mind and, man, Reggie, I'm forgetting your shit, the, the other podcast. Shout uh, out Reggie. No, fuck that. Reggie too cool for me to just forget his shit. I got to look up this motherfucker. But, hey, Reggie, we, uh, Reggie, my dude, he be giving me some good ass pointers, man. He set me straight. I was being lazy on the, uh, on the um, introduction, on the uh, man, I'm gonna tell you I can't chew gum, man. Talk. I was being lazy on the fucking bio and shit on or the explanation, nigga. That's what I'm gonna call it. The explanation on YouTube page. He told me, nigga, you gotta, you gotta uh, do your shit right. It's always personal. Look up that podcast. You can find it on any streaming platform, wherever you stream your podcast at. But last week when we was talking about Kobe Bryant, man, I, I alluded to the fact that I unbashedly don't believe that Kobe Bryant was dead. I don't believe he died in a helicopter crash. And my reason was on service level simple when I said because they didn't have no funeral. I said that, but I've researched certain things and shit where I'm not saying I'm absolutely positive that that's what happened, but it's a belief I have. And he made a comment and said this, this C and TCK start to stand for conspiracy. <laughs> and I didn't feel offended at all. Yeah. Hey, he don't know that in my deepest soul I'm a conspiracy buff, quote unquote conspiracy. Yeah. People don't know that conspiracy just means plan. You know what I'm saying? It's just a plan by uh, two or more people to make something happen in secrecy. You know what I'm saying? And we live in a fucking country that was built on conspiracies and secrets. So we've seen so much egregious things that have taken place and shit, and it go back to the old Matrix shit where you can take the red pill or the green pill. You can believe what's on the surface or you can believe what's below the surface. And me, myself, I don't ever just go by the surface on nothing that I indulge in. I, if I see A and shit, I know that B's fall. And if I know B's fall, I know C. And next thing you know, I'm at the end of the alphabet saying, hmm, you sure there's not another letter after Z? You know what I'm saying? I have an ever expanded mind. So I delve into shit. Like, I've believed in shit that I don't believe in no more and shit uh, as far as conspiracies. But before we wrap it up on that show, what's just some of the conspiracies that y'all believe in? And, and I'm, I'm going to go one that I believe that a lot of people sneeze at. I believe in reptilians. I believe it's a reptilian race around here and shit. I, it, it's. I don't know where they at. I don't know exactly who they are, but I believe that they're the descendants or the fallen angels and the human women. There's so much shit that goes into it, man, but 
We for, they say the height of ignorance is to condemn something without thoroughly, you know what I'm saying, like studying it. You know what I'm saying? Where somebody say you like, uh-uh, and then just be like, uh-uh. No. How you know? Be like, uh-uh, just like, uh-uh. Like, that's the height <laughs> of ignorance and shit to just dispute something blindly. And we all do it or have done it. You know what I'm saying? I've done it to a point where I'm so fucking glad that the nigga didn't come back with proof because I'd have been embarrassed. Like, the very first time I heard about 9 11, nigga, like, you don't think the government has something to do with it? I was like, no. He said, okay. He walked off like I was too stupid to talk to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I never got that because the older I got and shit, I seen how sick that mm-hmm. shit was. But y'all got any kind of conspiracies that y'all fuck with? Man. There's just so many shit flying through my head when you say that. I'm like, Damn. I think, I, I think, I think, I don't, and because a lot of them, because I'm probably because I believe them, or yeah. I've researched it or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, but like the mafia, yeah, 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 yeah. By the end of it, you like it's clear, it's clear, it should be clear to everybody. Clearly. But like the mafia, yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't believe it. Yeah, the mafia, they uh, like I, they, I guess they think it's dead or disbanded or that shit don't exist no more. I'm like, oh no, that shit is alive, son. That shit is everywhere throughout everything, and you, you see that shit like throughout Chicago because of the history of it. Word of Capone. Yeah, and then uh, definitely uh, like alien or alien, quote unquote, yeah. other beings that are not human. I believe that the mafia has something to do with the Kennedy death. The mafia amongst other people. Um, oh, that's a fact. Oh, I'm sorry. Like yeah. Julie said. It is a conspiratorial <laughs> fact. But I, I, I always fuck with this one book. Uh, damn, I think. I want to say Mark Lane, but it definitely wasn't him. But he going, he did a hell of a research about like what exactly happened with um, Lee Harvey Oswald. He was a patsy, and you can there's so many different stories like what happened to Man on the Grassy you No. Know, that's just one thing I believe. Another one is, and it, this one right here made me sad. Oh. I'm gonna let you get it, but the, the MLK death. I was about to say there that was shit. So many I was about to say that shit. Pot and shit oh, he, listen, he had preachers and shit, black preachers out here meeting with Klansmen, policemen, oh, uh, officials, mob officials, um, all these people, and Messy Jesse was involved in Oh, my God. It, it, it was that way. Uh, throw them <laughs> off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And even, even the, uh, the army was involved, like the special units. And people don't got to believe this shit. They can research it if they want to, but this is the shit I believe. Yeah, That's what going to say. Yeah, yeah, it's all been declassified at this point. And I mean, a lot of people are, uh, they remember that the United States was held liable for his death in the civil court case that corrected him file. You said, was he what? That the United States was held liable oh, yeah, for the yeah, death yeah, in the yeah, civil suit. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, they really, it wasn't even just, in that situation, Martin Luther King wasn't the only victim. Lee Harvey Oswald was a fucking victim. That's history. They fucking busted this. Like they allowed him to escape from jail. Yeah, flat as hell. Flat to the motherfucker. <laughs> with a, with a, encased. But that's type of shit, like, you mm. know, like, I'm trying to say some shit that ain't really too. I'm like, but just like, I thought everybody's in the army. Oh, no, motherfuckers really think it's me and the motherfuckers blue. Motherfuckers really be thinking that we spit on this motherfucker can't feel ourselves because of shit they call gravity. And then, and then, like, but the thing is, it's the program. Like, I hate the term, like, you brainwashed. No, nigga, we need our brains washed. We're programmed. Everybody needs a brain wash. You know what I'm saying? We need to be brainwashed so we can fuck up and make sense out of life and shit. Sense going by what these people tell us. And they and they don't understand because like, most of them lie about and you like, hey, it's all, it, and it's crazy how it boils down to it's a worship thing. Where they worship the sun, they want everything to be heliocentric or where everything based around the sun instead of everything revolving around the earth, which is geocentric. But the shit's so deep, man, I'm not an expert by any means. Which way. is actually Eurocentric. <laughs> that boy, that nigga, that nigga spit! <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That, that, that flat Africa one, that, that right there, that fucking flipped my head upside down when I found it. But the biggest plot, plot the conspiracy ever, is for us to be sitting here thinking we just regular ass niggas. That we popped up out of nowhere and shit, and our history just start start starting here in America. Oh, yeah, take away the fact, that, they take away the fact that we are the people of the book or the scriptures and shit, and that the people in the land right now. Ashkenazi Jews, Ashkenazis are descendants of Ashkenaz who's a descendant of the David. And they come from fucking Russia. 
They've never lived in the land ever. But that's probably been the biggest dupe ever. You know what I'm saying? And it was all foretold or whatever. But I believe in a bunch of conspiracy, man. And one day, we're going to fucking kick back and chop it up. I'm going to invite uh, Uncle Buck them over here. Oh, yeah. Come and chop that shit up. I know they got a billion of them. They fucking oh, yeah. and shit. They white boys. <laughs> <laughs> they believe that. They, they got some crazy hell yeah. But like recent shit, Pizza Gate. A lot of people not familiar yeah. with that. If you oh, ever been listen, so that shit is that shit that's that's insane, insane so nigga. Bizarre, uh, that's uh, uh, what's nice. the boy name? They said killed himself in jail. Oh, oh, uh, Epstein. Epstein, he's not dead. That's one another one I believe. Uh, so I mean, it's like somebody faking their death is not some, you know, what I'm saying a new thing. Now, am I a billion percent sure that Kobe didn't die? Did they try to say, say she died in her cell? Who? Sandra, oh. uh, Sandra Bland, uh, the black chick. Oh, that's just another neighbor. There ain't no conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, I know what she's saying, though. Yeah, they wouldn't get us on that one. The old he was reaching. Routine. <laughs> <laughs> I know it what was this is. Right for me. Yeah. But um, we, Tuskegee, I mean, with the vaccines, the Tuskegee shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they mm -hmm. treat us like guinea pigs historically. So, I mean, this whole country is built on lies and conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was a conspiracy to fucking do the, the Boston Tea Party. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, to say conspiracy and shit, I, if, if I really wanted a conspiracy, huh, nigga, the views would go up. You know what I mean? It's like here, nigga, sitting around here talking about Bigfoot every episode, which is like, the world so like you the world so open now, I don't see how motherfuckers don't be known, like just can't see this shit. They just you know, have this shit is a big fucking yeah. clown show, you feel me? They be motherfuckers be, be going for this shit, like yeah, man, they, that's what? Nah, they just that you see they keep posting up all this, they UFO shit. Like and, on TV. And they, they put a lot of misinformation out there like that mm -hmm. QA down, the little group yeah. that was running so rampant. They, they, they wanna fucking you know what I'm saying, it was Psyops, you know what I'm saying? They put those people out here and shit to incite people or whatever, make you feel like the shit goofy, man. The shit, I mean, like Washington yeah, D.C. was created, and it, it's it's like centered on particular like longitudes and latitudes so that like correlate with uh, you said Philly correlate yeah. with Freemasonry and stuff. Like, it's just so much going on in this world to where the shit I believe I don't expect people to believe. Because I don't expect them to research it how I research it. I don't expect for them to, you know what I'm saying, put A against B. And it's so far, it is far, it is far fetched, but when you look that shit up, you like, damn, that shit is exactly what it is. You in a rabbit hole. <laughs> you yeah. in a rabbit hole. I'm going to tell you, man, you get on a computer and you look like, man, I got to see how much fucking, like how you make double A batteries. <laughs> and then you be right here talking about some, what? Queen Elizabeth really a fucking this bitch really ain't even had a arrest warrant for killing children. Y'all ain't right about that shit, y'all. Download, download Duck Duck Go because Google won't uh, fuck with it. You damn sure can't find nothing on Google no more. But download the browser Duck Duck Go and look up Queen Elizabeth uh, wanted for murdering That's children. Crazy. That's the and shit. you gonna see some legitimate shit or look up Ronald Reagan and the homosexual uh, shit they had going on is where they was under investigation for having like underage quote unquote call boys in the White House. This is not some shit I'm making up, but this is the shit they bury. But <clears throat> anyway, word up, shout out to T.I. That was a conspiracy. Y'all was conspiring against those young ladies, get them drunk and have your way with them and threesome them and force them according to Sabrina Patterson. What you know about that? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with 2009 before we, 2008, 2009, I gotta listen to his music. See what exactly, but I, I gotta listen to everything like I'm a lawyer, like I'm out here. Nah, he was saying lying. that shit. I gotta go back and find out because. He was saying that shit. Anyway, mm -hmm. before we go, I'm gonna say this. I meant to say it. Oh, I meant to say it. Corey called me today and he said something I never want to hear all you niggas ever. He opened up with, man, why my baby mama? And then he spilled his guts. And I feel like it, like it, like I, that bitch did what? Like I thought that's what I was supposed to say, but I didn't have that. I couldn't jump in right at the right time to say it, man. I just want to tell y'all, don't ever call me on no shit like that, never. And in the course of conversation, don't ever say, "What she think that's going to the child support supposed to do?" Because Corey got custody of his door, and so it's like the roles are reversed. He said, "What does she think two hundred dollars a month supposed to do?" 
And I was lost. I was lost. Hey, you strong black man. He want one. He want one. He, he going down to history of the history of legend. He gonna have it now. He, gonna, he, gonna, uh, he about to start taking black and white photographs. You mean talking about how matter and shit like hey, that? <laughs> this close. <laughs> this close. She can spend some time with your motherfucking kid. That's what he's doing. Instead of me worrying about what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, man. Corey, wow. shout out to Corey. Corey had me so fucking he uncomfortable. Went. That shit ain't huh? me either. I said, he winning, bro. Hey, he had me <laughs> uncomfortable. He. Hell no. He said she she his, his baby mom broke up with her boyfriend and he said that he said man he said her boyfriend told me I should listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Play, but that's my right. nigga, so I had to listen. I I was uncomfortable, but as a friend, and shit, I got to listen. I mean, uh, I didn't feel comfortable. This this is reassuring about me and my personal setup. I didn't feel comfortable in that conversation. But y'all already know how we do it. The best podcast you never heard of. Conceded Nobody. Anything you want to say in closing, Juke? Check out the Conceded Nobody streaming on all platforms tomorrow. And shit, we got more shit coming this motherfucking summer. So be on the lookout. Fuck spring. Stay tuned, folks. Most <laughs> shit on the way. That nigga was a spot. <laughs> that nigga was a spot. He getting our freestyle. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> you ain't got nothing coming up. Nothing. Uh, okay, ten but, hey, hold on. Fuck that. Nothing, t- nothing ten and two. Well, All shit is coming on, in the spring. Fuck that, nigga. fuck that. We got something coming up. Man. <laughs> oh, that shit. I'm passing on vaccines. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said, you know, we can hustle niggas with vaccine scam and shit. Get these. Mm, hell yeah. Shoot them up with some uh, citrus, some <laughs> vitamin C or some shit that can't kill them. We got to Google it because Google will tell you how to kill a person. But we'll catch y'all next week on the best podcast you never heard of the conceited nobody. <laughs>